Hello there, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as everyone's favorite, uh, as everyone's favorite security chief, Maya, as an Nevada protector. But we gotta read an offer they can't refuse. The Jackals and Vipers have been a blight on this area for literally generations, and the Yakuza may be the means to call this blood. If we offer them weapons, equipment, and a decent amount of caps, and a promise to not interfere directly with other ambitions, maybe we can convince them to do our dirty work for us. While we're occupied else, we're bringing civilization to the wasteland. Killing is an art form. If the Yakuza accept their deal, they will declare war against the Jackals first, and then the Vipers in exchange for 100,000 caps and 250 pieces of infantry equipment, and enter a non-aggression pact with them, or thanks, but rather not pay raiders, raiders to deal with raiders. Pretty much. Uh, cultural exchange, while well, I said that would be fun to do, um, I prefer pest control personally, but challenge laws is a chance. The leadership in Reno is always a rather tenuous thing with multiple of the families vying for power. It's only a matter of time until it came to a head, now we only need to deal with the consequences of that struggle one way or another, and since the job of dealing with the raiders at their doorstep is either something the Yakuza are unwilling to do, or we just don't trust them to do, it falls us to get rid of them like the pests they are named after. We'll still in the rules of change. <clears throat> it's easy to justify fighting a group of raiders terrorizing settlers. It is far harder to justify waging a war against a city state that is a government, regardless of how corrupt. A state that is an industry, infrastructure, an education system that is actually civilians that want to live, just live their lives in peace. Mr. Bishop, de facto leader of New Reno, and his family had ample time to fix these issues plaguing the cities forever. Uh, since, but instead, he decided to propagate the status quo. Prostitution, cams, hiring out thugs, his thugs, to whoever pays enough regards who gets hurt. There's no need for diplomacy here. The world will be a better place if we get rid of them and his family and instate a trustworthy magistrate for the mid-territory. We will surely be welcomed as liberators. All right. But I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should use consuls uh, or outworlders as all our magistrates. And generally, I'm going to be just saying that I wanted to do um, all on one side because that's how I roll sometimes. We go to one extreme to the other. Even though there was a common saying yesterday, if the bonuses are too good, just mix it up. But overall, at the time of recording, there overall is more support for in terms of consuls and magistrates. Consuls. Just barely. Barely a little bit more... Uh, Support. So for this campaign, we'll go with consoles. 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 And consoles. So it is what it is. Um, yeah. But what else? <clears throat> Just another Raider gang? What could have been if not an ally? At least help in hand with a turn in this place and something you could call civilization? The Yakuza have proven to be just another Raider gang. <clears throat> and a little share of the fate of their ilk. So. I've got about 38 days left for that one. So here, so because we chose consoles for everything. A city workshop uh, exploration. I actually like that one. That's usually pretty good to do. We'll also get captain income, better production, efficiency, growth. Our man in esport, more weekly manpower. That's not bad, but it's only two. Of course, I think it goes for everybody last time. Maybe not. With all our new citizens used to figure out what people are actually good at, the generalized occupational aptitude test has finally fallen out of favor. It has fallen out of favor since shortly after we found a vault city. But well, reinstating it allows us a quick way to gauge capabilities of new citizens. Logging in the barrels as well, it's not bad for consoles. Better consumer goods, more factory repair speed. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Develop the Elko Gold Mine. <clears throat> not bad. Uh, what are we doing for resources anyways? I mean, we're going to be conquering a whole bunch anyways. It doesn't really matter too much. But go and get ready. Um, well, in the meantime as well, because we don't like ghouls for this campaign, ghouls are icky and yucky, I've gone ahead and we selected purity for this one because ghouls are no 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 um principle i usually i almost always use principle unless playing the enclave but purity i think for being anti-ghoul i think that just that fits a little better this would be a wrong thing to do dedicated machines or de dedicated mechanics not good if we wanted to do that for now but i do like that there's options here that you have and you know what i like in life i like to have options so <clears throat> vault city nice you so and the reason I bring that up, actually, for these guys, um, since you're commander, field marshal, uh, what do we want here? History repeats itself, nice. Contact loss, no, that's not good. Have you wait, melee attacker, more attack, yeah, I like that one. Oh. For some reason, I thought I was doing this guy, the field marshal. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, he's inspirational. Eh, whatever. Yeah, I'll see what happens. Um, just another raid again. I personally prefer doing the killing myself. After that, Carlin Waypoint Station, Console Radar Station, Echo City Population by 1000. Yeah, that's not bad. Wells Terminus. Oh, becomes owner and controller of I 80. Oh. We're in a Mucka Hub. Alright, not bad. 
grants the Nevada protected claims and unlocks territory dispute decisions for the dense former core territories. Okay. Interesting. But, not interesting. Goats. We'll do the goats next. We like goats. <clears throat> We're struggling a little bit, but what else is new? And down here, sure, why not? Um, better recon on a recon, yeah. Losses. 185%. Oh, we have quite a few losses. Not good. So in the meantime, do we have any, extra, we have any planes? Not really. Yeah, we could probably use more planes. <coughs> but it's good for army XP. And also, we're going to be coining more and more and more here too, so. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And we'll core this too, because this will be a really good core as well. Oh crap, I forgot about the thing. I usually remember, but whatever. Contact lost, my bad. Oh, they are playing the hard game. Force defense, oh boy. Oh man. Nice, nice. I'm gonna set you down here anyways. You must go here. I'm gonna try to cut him off. Goats for everybody, though. Living better above ground, although all good Murphy's a bit too idealistic for a taste. With his love of the lesser sword. I'm not gonna deny that we have more in common with the NCR than literally any other city people. To that end, Murphy's offered a detachment of volunteers to augment our military in return for industrial aid. How should we re respond? You find useful these fine men? I think we've had quite enough time with NCR dollars, thank you. Well, I mean, we did get rid of the garrison, right? I mean. Marvel the Vault City, Early Gak, Welcome Refugees. I mean, we expelled them, so. You'll say no for now. Well, we do like what they do, so it'll be better. Yeah, that's good again. And there they go. It'll be quite costly. Is it worth doing it like this? Probably not, but whatever. 73 ain't bad. Marlock Tribe, Stroll Warren. Go with that too. Oh, actually. Keep working on some millies and civvies. Plenty enough time to make sure we get enough infrastructure all over the place. Um, for us, I kind of want frag grenades. That sounds like a little more fun military sounding bonuses. Eh, it kind of closes out of that one. So, our naval air station, Fallon? Sure. Better radar? Not bad. Want to play attackers a little ahead of time. Not really an issue for us, though. That's also a little ahead of time. Eh, I'll go get better power armor. So, what do we lack in power armor? Anti tank. And quite a bit of power armor. So there's this. Uh, get more triplane attackers. These ones too. That would be good. Keeping one on the millies at all times now. And of course it'll help once we score this thing too, but still. Actually, we should wait. We can't get any more stability yet, can we? But maybe we should read about tackling new projects. Let's go with a permanent embassy in Eastport. The Magistrate for Eastport has a different task than the others in that it did not oversee territory we directly control. Instead, it takes care of our dealings with the Eastport government. A permanent embassy in the lands and accept a better organized future joint ventures. Nice. Followed up with, uh, what? Winnemucca Hub? Winnemucca is already on an outpost that we established a while ago, but it's a position, or it's positioned not so perfectly as a hub. Um, for incoming and outgoing traffic to and from Vault City. As you ever expand it westward along the freeway, its function will become more important. Seems like we now we need another general. Not you. Ambrose? Learn, my friend, learn. Oh, see what I mean defense. I didn't know that one existed. Alright. A little ahead of time, but it doesn't matter. Let's go to war. Burrows. Nice. 
Alright, so the guard in the entire group here. What if we did something like that and said, like, you guys go down there, and then you guys go, like, right there. This repeats itself. Recon 2. Let's actually do this. Our infantry have recon. Yeah, they do have recon demos and this. Could do some fire teams. Go ahead. It's fine. We don't discriminate here. We target everybody. Nice. And there you go. Give him a little more time. The panic set in. Oh, this is a, Oh, yep. I haven't seen this in a while. The Malbias Cohort. Wow. The Rubicon, huh? This looks really cool. State of the Legion. Is that the same focus tree? Yeah. Nice. Cool. We got time to kill, so. So, yeah, Magna Prospectors. You can have a loan. We have no money now. That's all right. Who needs money? Three. Two. Do they have extra planes? How? Oh, you try playing attackers. Oh, okay. I well, we could try it. See what you can do. Simple. Another man's trash. Well, Jack was a viper that control over a surprise amount of territory that they unsurprisingly barely utilize. There's so much useful materials just lying around. That's staggering. Let's make use of what they did not. More we can core. Oh, that's protectrons. Yakuza. Over here. Go and train as well. No, I said scavengers. How much money we got? Oh, we did conquer them, so that's fine. Kick a power plant. Nope. Organizational relations. Vault tech calling. Um. What is this like, a good thing about New Reno? We need the war against crime. Okay, there's that one. Oh. Interesting. And we want to go with probably normal weaponry. Do we want to? Mini guns. Hmm. Plenty of dynamite, though. It's pretty nice. And let me tell him get some more recon. Hmm. It's only 3%. Get more recon? Yeah. Grab that. Festus. Kind of want that, but then again, we're not really appealing to refugees too much. And our box. Hey, 40 army XP. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Oh, no. Bad word. A lot of bad word. Well. Oh, it's not the end of the campaign. Better not be. Hello. Who is this? New Reno, what'd you do? Oh! Thrad did show up! Chief Thrad the Immortal! What the heck? Oh, that's not good for us. He did show up. I didn't think he would. Ooh, we got super power armor, though. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, max speed. We get black and white. Get more defense. Oh, I guess more breakthrough first. Better power armor. Um, Carlin Waypoint Station. Outpost, radar station, well, it's terminus. 
The local magistrate managed to finalize a deal where, for a small concession, Jim Leahy would be able to would be willing to put the small settlement of Wells under a guiding hand. Wells is a close settlement overlooking the last part of the I-80 that is under the control of the relatively civilized people. This gives us another foothold against any encroaching threat coming from the east. It looks like we might actually be able to hold out. No guarantees, of course, especially down here, but... Oh, good God, there's one division there. That's not ideal. No bad word. Well then, that is not good. Plenty of manpower for them. We're gonna need to raise conscription level probably. Well, fun militias to your conscription. Right now we got quite a bit of cord. All this is not bad. Up here, definitely gotta core this too. Over here, definitely, definitely, definitely. Focus fire, not bad either. Um, laser weaponry. How are we looking for this? Support, support, support them is very good actually. Um, another man's trash. Airborne, aquifer. Ghouls, no mutants allowed. Hmm. How about on this side? Dwellers, Nevada Pact. You know what? I want to be different than what I do next time. So remind me the next time I do plays Vault City, because I will be going this route as well. Um, so... I think next time we'll use ballistics. So for this time, let's go with energy weapons. Fine tools are nice. Go ahead of time, grab that one too. And uh, well, it's terminus. I eighty. You know what? On second thought, let's not do that one. Carlin Waypoint Station. The entrances to the old Carolyn Tunnel that the R80 leads through have been mostly collapsed, but the structural integrity of the interior seems to be mostly sound. If we clean up the debris, shore up the dodgy bits, and build a proper fence around the entrances, we'll have a natural ready-made base on the, on the route further east. Logging well, in the burrows. The forest within the, the first the vermin were calling their home is surprisingly lush. Considering the surrounding wastelands, the first source of good source of fresh timber we've seen in forever. That's not good that's, that's good a waste. Developed the alcohol gold mine. Well the gold we can dredge from inside the mine is nice enough. Oh god. Yeah, on its own, all remains of the old mining equipment are the treasure of similar worth. Oh crap. Yeah, it looks like we're forced to go to war. Are you able to do anything here actually? Are you able to do anything? You actually might be able to do something here. Is there a defense? And we do want to take I-80 eventually. Hey, maybe. Might just. Probably not, in all honesty. Magistrate's proposal. Magistrate for East Forest Center proposed about investment in an improved, uh, improved infrastructure in the area. He reports uh, that the show that while they did an admirable job in getting pre-war brewery running again, even managing a decent logistic system to gather and ship all required ingredients from the sphere's inf influence, it's clearly room for improvements. The question is now if we take the chance to invest in our construction capabilities in general or focus exclusively on actually getting East Forest in the 23rd century. Construction companies. Exclusively. We're not only in this for our own gain, future deals. Picture does sound nice. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a giant mess. You know what? I'm thinking doing what we did was probably a mistake. Guaranteeing their independence was probably a mistake. I think we'll do this maybe, but I might just say no. Hmm. Because our soldiers, I'll be honest, are not that strong. We all know our soldiers are not that strong. Um hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't invest into them, but still. Um, they just can't hold out. 80s are very strong. We're not that strong here. Yeah, while well, we can hold out, I'm not sure if they'd be able to. So, 
We'll see. The Eastport Brewery. Further reports of our Eastport magistrate clearly shows admiration for the work the people of Eastport have put in their brewery. He sends us some samples of the products and they're rather tasty. He says they would have use for some of our know-how to really get the production going on a larger scale. We could get some for shipments of various beer flavors out of this deal, but it would probably go better long if we did it without demanding something in return. Strike a deal. It's not bad. Do it for free. If we show that we're not in the same... And it's only for our own gain. They may be more open to future deals. Sure, why not? Mountain City. Also, we are at war with these guys here. I just manually went to war with them. Uh, oh. Battle Mountain. Oh. We're giving them a lot. Uh, we are losing down here. Well, you know, whatever. Uh, we're tackling new projects, though. Which is all right. I read this earlier, so if you'd like to read this game, please go right ahead. Um, work allocation. I do want to do this one, too. Mayor Exchange Center. One of the jobs of the old amenities office was to give rewards for special tasks or extra efforts our assistants undertook. We should expand on this parts of its function to keep the new influx of assistants motivated to work towards a common goal. Please, for the love of God, do not die here. Um, so, let's see, after power armor. You know what, grab that more speed. I like speed. Speed is fun. Don't do drugs, kids, but speed is fun. Um, oh, we're attacking here too, huh? Oh, hello, sure. Treasure Trove! If you remember that, please go ahead, yay! More army XP, yay! Um, I did go with this one just because it gives us bonuses to uh, attack and defense. Oh, look at that. Look at this too. And we could really use desert stuff right now, so. Go in. Yeah, but for the most part, we've just been holding here. That is, is the most part. Um, we want to go down there too. It's fine with me. As long as you can hold the line, that's all I really give a crap about. As long as you can hold. Of course, we are. We did push in, so that's why they're not doing as well as they probably could, but, you know. They're not on core territory. So far, okay. Uh, Office for Military Technology. As most advanced student in the wasteland, bolstered by those older the idea of a free human in Nevada, we can easily equip a military force that even the Brotherhood would envy. Nice. But, uh, I didn't get through all the comments, though. Some of the comments, uh, said, we should do Democratic Greece. I'm not sure, I, I, I'm assuming vanilla? I'm not like Thousand Week Rike or anything like that, but maybe vanilla, the person recommended, so. Um, someone says we should play as Octan, which I'm thinking you're probably recommended in TNO, maybe, for that one? Oh my gosh, the NCR, yes. Oh, that'd be great, thanks for joining us. Uh, casualties, lost about 1,300 versus 8,000. Not bad overall, we could really use more manpower, but we are on four-year conscription, which is pretty decent, not bad. Um, get more organization, which is all for the entire army, which is actually pretty good too. Uh, let's see, someone says, play as Lost Hills. I've been wanting to, I'll be honest, I've, I've been wanting to do Lost Hills for quite a while now, actually. I'm going to buy from the front, please go ahead. I, I want the 50 political powers nice, but we need more war support too. Um, oh, I'll see, you know what? Get that. Get the war support. Political power would be very good because we core more stuff, but eh, I don't know. That was a wrong mistake. Wrong thing to do. Why are you attacking Ding Dongs? Anyways, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, like I said, I was trying to play, I want to play Lost Souls, I really do. But I'm just not sure how to set it up. I'm not sure which factions we can get to join, or join us, maybe, to, if we play Lost Souls, so. Get max planning, recovery rate, sure, why not? We can get more trades, but I might want to save some for terrain as well. So, yeah, office of military technology would be very good. Oh, hello. Well, that's quite not good now, is it? Oh, that is quite very bad. You know, they're there holding the line. We'll do this. Send the power down here. We won't snap in a circle. Oh, hello. Welcome aboard. Yeah, as long as I can hold the line, that's all that matters right now. Thank God we got him here. Go in here. Enforce it. Enforce that fat attack. Because they have to die. So I want to build some enforce here, too. Uh, keep getting more millies, too. Those are nice. You have to win. No matter what. Learning, learning, learning. Very, very good. Um, survivalist, experienced soldiers lost, this wouldn't be bad. Fire teams, no. Uh, spec ops, leader scale bonuses, equipment capture ratio. You know what, let's go with that one. Something I almost never choose. Ooh. Heavy rapid ca capacitors, nice. Come on, come on, come on. This is so dumb, you should have them by now. How over... 80, the 80s, generally, not always, but sometimes they're just so overpowered. 
They're not fun to play against. They just really are not. Go back in your hole, you scum. You want to attack us? I don't think so. As long as we get those guys up there too, which is good. I don't know that too. Where you going? No, they're struggling down here. You scum suckers. I mean, we did. We even forced the attack. That's ridiculous. They we couldn't even win here. Are you kidding me? With air superiority, decryption, and whatnot. Come on. All right, let's go over here and grab the V2. But we got more pokes, such as work allocation center. Obviously, that servant allocation center has no use to us anymore. But the facility and systems in place can be repurposed. There's a lot of work to be done now that we're expanding, and there's a lot of workforce available to us. The work allocation center will help us to bring these two things together, and hopefully, the most efficient way possible. The power of armor. The simple fact that various models of power armor can still be found despite being exposed to 200 years of harsh wasteland conditions speaks volumes of their design. And who's better suited to use those models of pre-war technology than us? Not to mention that we found some plans for vault tech brand power armor in, the main, in our mainframe, an office for salvage and reclamation. The many pre-war facilities that survived the, uh, survived the Great War are scattered all over the wasteland. A lot of the time, the most interesting bits are mostly untouched because the average wasteland has no idea what to do with the high-tech machinery with those facilities. Good for us. The people of Eastport. The good folks of Eastport are spread far and wide around the territory. There's a few concentrated hotspots of activity, but mostly it's small farms that are minor settlements. The issue in regards to supplying the citizens with necessary goods and services that makes protecting them a lot harder. Now to speak of the workforce, a governing body might not even be aware of they have the potential access to. If we concentrate the population of fewer but better build and better defended towns, it'll give a huge increase to the quality of life of the average person in Eastport. And maybe we can scout some potential new recruits among those people. Though we don't think headhunting the best buyers will be seen as a nice move by the leadership. Let's grab some new recruits. We get more manpower? Eh, you know, keep doing that. We haven't got anything investment, but invest too much from them, but whatever. A proposal for merging our territories. The Eastport Magistrate has been in and long exhausting talks with Jim Leahy in regards to the potential inclusion of the Eastport Territory under the direct umbrella of the Nevada Protectorate. His answer may well hinge on our interactions with Eastport as a whole. We shall see what their answer will be. To fruitful negotiations, hopefully. But yeah, we're still just kind of hanging out. We kind of ran out of manpower as we're finishing up work allocation as well. So, but of course, the power of armor is next. And after that one, what's anyone's question or idea as to what's going to be next? Uh, oh, War Against Crime. Oh, this one ought to too earlier. If you want to read about this one, please go right ahead as well. Or I can read right now. Imagine New Reno. Now imagine Reno, but with way, way uh, less, way worse casinos. <clears throat> Now imagine it with even more chems and a lot of slavery. Congratulations, what you see in your mind is a den. Now, if New Reno was an issue, the den definitely is. Winning the war against crime. This war was harder and more bloody than treating fire with unorganized raiders, scattering raider, scattered raider groups. But we learned our lesson. We may become stronger through this struggle, though. Oh, they actually joined the war. Oh, oh they did. I don't think we can do anything here, though. Yeah, you can't go there. It sucks. Oh, no, you can. Huh. Alright. Uh, air stuff? Finally, we can do some air stuff. Um, you guys. Oh, you're our puppet. No, oh, you're here. Push in. So they actually become our puppet. Do they? They do. I was hoping that would happen. I, I didn't know that would actually happen, but I was hoping that would happen. Service and Joseph's missile starts to hurt us quite badly. Um, which I don't really want to do, but. Let's go. Release and circle these four divisions. Come on, come on, come on. And there you go. Scavenge PA, nice. Right gear. Sure, why not? Not bad. I think Vault Tech Power Armor is still technically better, but. I'm gonna keep grabbing this way because we get more army XP that way, too. And they're going to attack us. That's alright, because we're going to immediately attack them. Ah, see? Expert Hill's fire. That's what I want to wait for. Three, two, one. Let's grow when we can. I don't want to raise construction level. Also, we did take out the Yakuza, too. We're down here, we took out the Yakuza, which is really, really nice, too. Uh, 86. That's a lot. That's a good chunk of manpower. If we were to get any, of course. Ooh. Oh! 134 is a good way for 15,000 more. That'd be pretty nice, honestly. Hey, look at that map, are not bad, too. 
No, do not do that. For the love of God, that's so easy to get encircled that way. Yeah, it really doesn't think, does it? Lost 23,000. That was 72 divisions, so it's still not good, but still. But still. Go there if you move fast enough, you can go in here too. Now we're good, guys. Been waiting for this moment the entire time. We're doing some hefty damage, finally. We have an ace as well, very cool, very cool. Quality or quantity? Well, we have the technical uh, expertise to produce power armor on decent scale. We can only rush them out of the gate at the pace we need. There's also the question whether we want to go with them in the future. The current time we produce is hardly the quality that they can rival, say, the Brother to Steel. Not that we're planning to fight them, probably. Some of our older immigrant systems have come forth with plans as an actual blueprints and technical data to produce higher quality power armor types. Not entirely sure why they had those in the first place, but the other option is to lean on our vault tech heritage. We have specs for a competitor product to West Tech's mainline range of power armor. It's okay, let's be honest here. There's a reason they did not get the government contract. It does not perform even on, on even footing with anything above the T45D power armor, but what it has going for it is that it's way simpler and therefore cheaper to produce. West Tech? Vault Tech all the way. Oh, why uh, Why would you choose this one? Oh, sophisticated power armor is better, though. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's go get Wells Terminus, too. I read this last time, or actually not last time, but earlier in this episode, so if you want to do this, please go ahead, too. Of course, so. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, if you come over here, let's take a look-see. Okay, sophisticated tech will get us over here. T51B, hardened power armor, if we get there. We have Vaultic power armor on it right now. More than triple the defense. Roughly double the hardness. More than triple the heart attack. I mean, it's just, it's no contest. Vault tech would be very good for meta, but, like, West Tech Designs, there's a reason why we have to go with West Tech Designs. I mean, my god. Reliability is 20% higher. Production cost is quite a bit more expensive, but who cares Who cares about that? I'm a sucker for power armor, and I'll keep sucking power armor? No. I'll keep pushing for better and better and better and better power armor. Heck yeah. You kidding me? You kidding me? Alright. Uh, focusing array is not bad. Yeah, go with this one. And, of course, I'm going to just keep building up a lot of roads around here, because we're going to look really bad without enough roads. And Eastport, too, because eventually they'll be axed by us, so. Follow the National Guard? They usually follow my campaigns now. It's not cool. But I guess it is what it is. Take court before we have to have a higher cost because we'll have a lot all this territory underneath us, too. Radar is not bad. Oh, you encircled them. Nice job, guys. These guys are encircled, too, which is great, 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 great. Finally, thank God, my goodness, this took forever to get through. Nice. Keep building ourselves up. Oops. Bricks and such. Do we need more resources? No, we're very good in resources. Oh, and someone right there and they all died. Oh, man. Still paying the butt to take out, though. So this was harder and more blood than trading fire with the unorganized creator scatter rabel, of course. Ra rabel? Rabble. Oh goodness. I'm losing it. I'm very tired. Apparently. Hi. There you go. Plenty of crowd control gear, thank you. No thank you. And research. Line high tech, yes please. Fifty again, very nice. Uh, what is this? A hundred? Yeah. 
quite expensive. Once these guys are all... Oh, wait, that capital's down there? Oh. I thought it was north. Oh, I was wrong. Shocking all is done, too. Right. Hey, no. Hey, we got, um... I apologize about complaining about these guys a whole bunch. But, my God, I hate fighting these guys so much. But I definitely made it stronger. And we're done with our land auction. Nice. Led by a guy named Dwell Graham. Learn, boy. Oh, you got more? There you go. Um, I guess the Rad's Legion is probably the group we want to go fight against next, right? We're thrashing against us a whole bunch. Uh, for now, root out resistance. Keep it down. Keep them doggies down. Go and train as well. And you guys will go like right here. And do like that. Nice. Winning war against crime. Not bad. Effective uh, just the war goes down is good. The mutants are revolting. Apparently things got worse for Reno when we weren't paying attention, which is absolutely true, which is saying something. Mutants have taken over the city using a dirty bomb to help them in their conquest. They gotta be stopped, of course. Go ahead, uh, Sang Rock, Marshall Republic. 50-70%, nice. Need more German, but we're working on it. I mean, negative 533, negative 530, 84, 83 days, not bad. Clamp down autonomy. Yeah, I'll do that eventually. Refugees, I don't want to spend any political power on this stuff. Zero of assimilated, though. Oh, no. Well, we'll do at least once. Screw it, why not? Block cap's economy. Ooh, we have like no money, do we? 170. 47 month. Um, here. But it went over a whole bunch, too. Okay, never mind. And. Or it's crime. There's this one, too. So we have two. Think of a bob's there. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Alright. <clears throat> the fire opals equals fire power. Some of the scientists back home got really excited when local prospectors found a decent amount of rather pretty looking gemstones in the area. Apparently they have some real special properties that are hard to replicate in a laboratory in regards to laser weaponry. Something about reduced wavelength fluctuations and hence eichhorn Stevenson field dis uh, disper dispersion. Those are good things I guess, right? Sure, why not? Why not? Not bad. Power armor. We need more. We don't need. We need more of stuff in general. So, um, I do want to annex these guys as well, if possible. The mutants are revolting. So be it. Let them revolt. This gives us someone else to kill. Nice. Any planes? Yes. No. Crap. That. Will they attack us? Maybe. But well, also, maybe not. Which means you guys. Just be perfect. Well, I ask. Just be absolute perfection. Nice. And we should have them soon. Nope. Alright, if you want to do that, fine. You want to all move? Move. You can all move. You can all die at the same time. You can force the attack. I'll go right there. Well, that's what they wanted. <clears throat> What about after fire opals? Distribute them pit boys. Um, time well spent. Nevada is now a safe and more civilized place, of course. A place worth living in. 
a uh, place worth fighting for. If you're human, that is. Time to appoint some magistrates and get work done. Nice. Urino the Colin. All righty. Ah, look at that army XP. It's beautiful, is it not? Let's try to go to 100 percent or 100. Follow Urino. Nice. And there they go. Beautiful. But, I think that's where we might end it for today, perhaps. And one more episode after this as well, perhaps, too. Fire. So, time well spent, of course. But, in the meantime, new Reno tourism. Despite the seedy underbelly of the city, this place is built on the principle of entertainment. And some decent entertainment is something we are desperately lacking in Ball City itself. Now that it's safe to walk the streets of Reno again without being harassed by camp dealers and thugs, why don't make a trip here and relax? And then clean up in Second Street. Many of the supermoons of Second Street are a little better than Phil, but with some proper urban renewal, we can replace them with happy, productive families. And you might even get some free, unskilled labor. The Broken Brothers are no longer a threat to civilized people, but we must figure out what to do with them. One of the best suggestions is to use them for mining under armed guard. We don't need to worry about radiation gear or salaries after all. Nice. Um, we can't do this one, which kind of sucks, but all the way to Reno. Oh, what is this? Point of match for Modoc. Oh. <clears throat> the Hawthorne Armor Depot. They're around in the Viper's outpost of Hawthorne's dotted with concrete blocks and various other heavily fortified structures. Um, with concrete, uh, with a bit of, uh, took us a bit of research to find that the whole area used to be part of a massive ammo depot before the war, and all those structures were most likely ammo storage. We should just wait and be open, of course. And then, are we not you? There's an ongoing discussion in the Vault City Council about the stats of the slags. If clearly something different about them, can we guarantee that they won't turn out like another ghoul plague and all the way to Reno? All roads lead to Reno. That's always the saying, you know, doesn't it? Might have been a different city. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we might end up beating up the troll war. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of uh, your day.